Lager Shannon in Abus Lige Yoini. Erev Shabbos Friday, one of the longest Fridays, I think, of the season, this week and next week. So let us give some extra tzedakah and express our prayers to Hashem for the well being, for the safety of our dear soldiers, of our hostages, of all of Cloud Israel. We need help. Abishta, we need your help. And you can. So please do it. Parash of this week, all about lighting up the world. Lighting up the world. Chassid is a lamp lighter. Brings light. And everybody can bring their light, their warmth, their message, goodness and kindness. So here is a beautiful story of one of these lamp lighters. So I heard a story from my son. I'm not sure exactly when that was. But an, elder, an elderly Jew traveling from Ben Gurion Airport, Tel Aviv, back to the States. And for those who have been there, we're familiar, there is a Chabad booth where you can get something hot to drink, something cold to drink, something to read, something to take along with you, candles, a pushke, some reading material and also have the opportunity to put on tefillin. So this elderly Jew walks by there and stops, I guess. And uh, the one who is manning the Chabad boot asked him, can I invite you to uh, put on tefillin? He says, I already did it. I do it every day. Thank God. Wonderful, he says. Can I offer you a cup of coffee? She says, yes, I would like a cup of coffee, but what condition? I want you to fill it up all the way to the top, 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 top. Literally to the top. Never heard this kind of request, but this is what the man wants. Prepares a cup of coffee, hands him, and is careful not to spill it. The fellow takes the cup of coffee and holds it in his hand. And while he's holding the cup of coffee in his hand, he says, I'll tell you why I made this very unusual request. I says, I'll tell you. I used to be a rabbi in Dallas big community. Unfortunately, the community moved away and the congregation were losing members big time. And it came to a point that this big complex, the big building was not used. Definitely not the capacity. It was minimally used. We're down to 20, 30 people in the congregation. A place that could hold hundreds. Now, it's prime location. So the president wanted to sell the building and do something positive with the money. But I wouldn't let him. And we were constantly fighting about keeping as long as there is a minute, as long as there's 10 people still coming, as long as there's one person coming to show, we have to keep the show going. And this was an ongoing struggle. In addition to it, we also had a mikveh and was still used. One day, I'm in the middle of giving my Torah class, which used to have 200 people now down to two people. And the lady who looks after the mikveh came running in and says, Rabbi, we have an issue. There's a woman who needs to use the mikveh tonight, and somebody put a big, heavy padlock on the door. What should I do? I came outside. I ran to my car. I found the crowbar, and I started breaking that Block. Now imagine that scene, the rabbi standing and breaking, but finally I succeeded. Throughout all this time, every so often we would get a phone call from the rabbi's office asking how the shul is doing and encouraging us of keeping it going, which was very meaningful to us. Just after this happened, again the secretary of the rabbi called and the lady reported told them what happened about the lock, and the rabbi broke it. Short while later, secretary called back, said he related that to the rabbi, and the rabbi said in Yiddish, Gebench soll sein die Hand, was haben das getan. Blessed should be those hands that did that. So my friend, you see, I'm holding that cup already here for a few minutes. My hand is not trembling. You can't keep it so straight as I am. 
the Rebbe's blessing. I'm 92 years old today. This is a story from many, many, many years ago when I had Koyach to break this lock. My hand is still as straight and stable. The Rebbe's blessing. So my friends, the Rebbe's blessings are eternal. And the Rebbe's prophecies equally and certainly eternal. The Rebbe said we are on the cusp of getting Mashiach. So we ask Hashem, Nu, Heint, today.